All right, guys, what's up? And welcome back to what is going to be probably the final part of Lost Judgment. I decided we're going to plow on with the main story. Um, unfortunately, I have a lot of games coming up business-wise that I'm going to be uh, covering over the next few days. So I think if I don't get Lost Judgment done today, I'm going to struggle uh, to keep up with my, my work stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and complete it here in one long sitting. Um, it would probably take uh, three hours or so, maybe. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but we'll see how it goes. If it's uh, going to be taking too long, we can always split it up into two parts. I might not get this video up today, but I'm going to get it recorded today, and that's for sure. All right, make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this series. It's been a pleasure to bring it to you. I'm going to be doing Call of Duty Vanguard starting tomorrow, and um, I'm also going to be doing Forza Horizon 5 on the Apex Sound channel um, starting Friday. So I'm going to be really, really busy, unfortunately. I'm not going to have time to... Uh not gonna have time to do everything basically let's just buy all of the food the bento lunch sets everything i'm gonna buy absolutely everything all the food we can eat because we're gonna freaking need it i'm sure what the hell do these things do i think they just give us health as well tuna and egg sandwich eight fresh lettuce sandwich ten give me ten of them i don't care toughness z i can only buy one of those foreigner i already have the maximum amount and I can buy one of these as well. And uh, I think that's about it, mate. That's about all we'll go for. Experience a hug in liquid form made with all natural spring, spring water. You know what? I'll buy three of them as well. Why the hell not? Gives us SP as well. Okay. And now I think we're ready to I go, boys. Let's head to a Jincho. And let's do the final showdown, baby. I'm ready. I'm also ready. There's a taxi waiting for me right here and now. Let's go. I want to go to Izaki Ijinsho. Let's be on our way, boys. It's been a wild ride, so please do show support by dropping a like. It would be the best way to let me know that you enjoy the content, okay? Hello? Doc, where are you at right now? Just got back to Yokohama, actually. You weren't spying on me, were you? <laughs> you just noticed? <laughs> everywhere you went, I know about it. And I mean everywhere. Uh, where are you That's right weird. Now? <laughs> Over at the Leomong's place. Oshinokun and Higashi. Oshinokun and the Leomong oh, place? right. They mentioned they were going to Yokohama hey. to see Ahara's wife or something. Make your way over, will you? I need a full report. And I don't want to hear you were slacking. Well, look at you taking charge. Anything else, boss? Yeah, don't drag your feet along the way. <laughs> Thanks, Kaito-san. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Uh, probably should have saved the game before I came in here as well, by the way, just because I didn't. And it told me to. I completely forgot because I logged off. I saved it, but... Yeah, I did save it before, so I can just use a new slave, uh, save slot from now on, basically. I think, just to be safe. Okay. Are we going to have to fight these guys, or can I get past them? We're going past him. <laughs> Losers. See you later. Sayonara. They gonna chase me in here? I doubt it. They ain't man enough to come into the low man hideout. Liu man. That's yeah, so. What's up, bro? <laughs> Looks like the gang's all here. Sukumo's here. Everyone but the star of the show. Now that is next level ass kissing, Hoshino Kun. <laughs> A good ass kisser is a good communicator. Welcome back, Yagami-san. <laughs> Grab a seat, talk. We gotta talk, huh? We gotta freaking talk, baby. Nice. So you're really gonna stand in court again? Just to give Sari-san some support? Ah, I see. Does that mean I don't need to be present for Ahara-san's appeal? Huh? How would I know? Isn't that more of a sorry son question? If Yagami's there, I don't see why you gotta be. <laughs> you're on thin ice, Hoshino-kun. You still gonna have a job if you're redundant? I have been plenty useful. <laughs> At least a little. Should a lawyer really have to say that? This guy is kind of a rookie, huh? Poor Hoshino. Ah. Man, the gangster just put the lawyer on notice. <laughs> Well, that's all I got. How about you guys? Better gather all the info everyone got in a, in a Jincho and sort it out, okay? 
But where's Kiwana? So where's Kiwana? Any word on where he's hiding? Yeah, about that. We must have asked everyone in Eugene's show, but we got nothing. RK's Squad. out there looking for him too. He seemed to think I've still got him under watch. On the flip side, that means they still haven't found him either. Well, yes, although that's not much consolation. You think Kiwana-san's still in one piece after the explosion? Yeah, he got off. Alive, yes. Unharmed, I can't say. When I saw him, he was already making plans to disappear. But the real problem is what happens next. Now that he knows Reiko Kusumoto betrayed him, we don't know Kawana's next move. I'd never let that slide if I were in his shoes. Mm-hmm. Maybe Kawana's thinking the same thing, you know? He spent all that time underground brooding and shit. Maybe he's really gonna stick it to Reiko Kusumoto. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Better gather all the- oh yeah, yeah. You two met with Ahara's wife. Oshinoku, Higashi. You two met with Ahara's wife? Yeah, but we didn't gain much from it. Turns out Ahara and his old lady don't really keep in touch. After her There's son a surprise. his life four years back, already knew that really, she used to keep living under the same roof. Only reason she hasn't divorced him is because it's too much of a pain to process. She's been living in that same apartment even when Toshiro-kun was still alive. She let us light some incense on his altar, but she was pretty vacant the whole time. Did Ahara's battery charge come up at all? She said she didn't care. She didn't care her husband was out there groping women and killing bullies? Has she even seen Mikushiba's murder footage? According to her, no. Really? That's hard to believe. Well, there's no easy way to put it, but it felt like she'd given up on everything. Made for a pretty depressing trip, I'll tell you that. That doesn't sound good. What's the word on RK coming down to Eugene Show? Everywhere you look, they're strutting around like they own the place. And they know our faces, too. They stare us down, but never get too close. It's fucking annoying. Plus, they're acting like those worst nightmare. They've been harassing the joints we have ties with. Harassing how? You know, shit like pretending to be normal customers, then dying dashing or complaining to mess with business. Then another guy will come in and be like, need protection? And suddenly they're charging a fee. That's some Yakuza shit right there. Old shit, too. A Yakuza who pulls out today is out in one shot under the anti-gang laws. And Soma? Is he still around town? Nah, there's nothing on him. Even if he is, he probably went underground by now. And Soma isn't exactly a social butterfly like Akutsu. Finding him's gonna be a pain in the ass. I think so too. Especially if he has public security's help. Unless it's a life or death situation, I doubt he'll show his face. We gotta figure out a plan to goddamn bait him out into the open then, I guess. I don't know how that's gonna work though. Seems so. As for me, I think I'll head out and see what I can find out about Kiwana-san. Same. I just hope he's okay. I think he's fine. I think he's gonna be fine, you know. And then there were five. Tsukumo-san and Sugiura-san do some impressive work. Yeah. You don't hold a candle to them, Hoshino-kun. Black belt in karate, and you never even use it. Well, I'm just more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Anyway, I'm heading back to Kamurocho. Enjoy yourself, Higashi-san. You guys need to stop bullying uh, yes, Hoshino-kun, man. Call it a night. Tessa said he'll let us stay if you do. No skin off my back, really. So, what'll it be? Sure. If I can really stay the night, I'll take him up on that. Why not? Why freaking not, boys? Dirty iron. All right, we got here. I hear a drone. No luck finding Kawana or Soma. I guess that means we're done in the Jincho then. And okay, we're heading back to Kamarocho already. Yagami, I think I'll stick with Anaki and tag along. <laughs> oh, Kaito's using the drone. 
Couldn't live with myself if I backed out now with a fish this big on the line. Fair enough, pal. Fair enough. It says make preparations. Yeah, what does that exactly Tesla mean? Asked me to fly the drone. <laughs> says it's the first time he's seen this place from above. Seriously, it's pretty legit. I picked one up for myself. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? I'm guessing we leave this place. Where the hell was this secret hideout? Because we came in here to get to the secret hideout. And then we came out down there. Like, where? Like, how? How was that possible? <laughs> kind of bad design there. Alright, it says make preparations. I gotta go back to Yokohama 99. Alright. You guys wanna go then? Come on! Hey. Oh. Oh my lord, that was nasty. You're still alive? No, you're not. Do Do them at the same time, that was nasty! Oh, that was sick. Kinda sliding me! Hey, get up, boy! Get up! We're not allowed to- Oh, now you want to fight back. Okay. Come on. Hit me then. Oh, okay. Come on then, buddy. Oh, okay. I want to parry you. I can't. I can't parry you. Who needs to? Okay. What is this dude doing, bro? <laughs> I can't parry this guy, though. It's very annoying. I was just trying to parry him, and I couldn't. What a waste. God damn it. Man's just trying to parry, and he can't do it. Oh, I came one too early. Not the first time, boys. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right, guys? That's TMI, boys. I just need to turn this down a little bit. Game's a little loud, but now we're ready to go. What's up, Sugiera? Hey, yagami -san. You handle everything in the Jincho? I think so. Uh, I think so? Things are getting pretty intense from here on out, so if there's anything you still want to do in the Jincho, now is the time. You may want to save the game, too. Note that you're in for the long haul, so you'll still be able to save it. They just told me this. They literally just told me this in uh, Kamarocho. Right? Really? Good. Because Sukumo kun Weird. said he had something he wanted to show you. He's upstairs. You mind going to him? I don't. I don't mind at all, son. Sukumo kun Yagami sounds here. Something up? Yes. It's about the pendant Kawana san gave you. Turns out it was just a decoy after all. Decoy? For what? For what was inside. This. Microchip. The cracks in the pendant were hiding an SD card. And on it was some video data. Video data? Of what exactly? It's the footage of Ihara murdering Hiro Mikoshiba. Just like we saw before. No additional scenes. That doesn't make sense. Why would Kawana put his life on the line just to give me that? I mean, RK came after him and everything. And all for a video that's already all over the internet? Yes, except the video on that card is the original. All the others were copies of this source. In layman's terms, this is the master tape. Or in film, it'd be the negative. With no additions or modifications of any kind. We can use that. We can use that. And how do you know for sure? So this SD card here is a special little thing. You can't usually buy it in stores. It's called a worm, or write once, read many. If you were to take a picture with a digital camera, the images saved on this SD card couldn't be edited or deleted. It's what forensics teams use when photographing crime scenes. 
which means what we have here is unaltered footage of Mikoshiba's murder. That means it would qualify as evidence in Ahara's appeal. Yeah, I'd say you have room to negotiate with the prosecution and the judge. At the very least, it beats an internet copy with no origin. Hey, think this will be enough to win the trial? <laughs> well, I can't guarantee that. But it does explain why Kuwana-san took such a risk. The video on here is the sole original. That's why he'd only leave it in the hands of someone he trusted. Damn. Let's go. Does Kawana want me to use this in court? I guess he Kawana probably does. Has to give this to Ahara. Sure, but he had to know we'd turn it inside out first. Maybe it's Kawana-san's way of entrusting you with the evidence you need? Mm. After all, with public security after him, he may not live to see tomorrow. And seeing how he's on the run, he had to find a way to get that into Ahara-san's hands. Which I think is why he left it all up to you, Yagamishi. And it's settled. It's about time I expose everyone involved in Mikoshiba's murder. Ahara, Kuwana, and his students. That's the first step to luring public security out in the open. And I believe the SD card will make that possible. So hey, looks like almost getting blown up was worth it. Uh, I guess so. I still don't get the why. So is this Kawana, like, turning on Ahara-san? I don't really understand. Hey, I'm sorry to bug you. Matsu? What are you doing here? I was talking to the MRC guys earlier. They said you'd be at this detective agency. Everything okay? Well, Akane started hanging out with some shady guys. So I figured I should talk to Yagami-san about this. Sounds like a tricky situation. Please, have a seat. Akane's that girl you hung out with all the time, right? So, want to tell me more about these shady guys? They're these thugs from Tokyo. RK, they're called. They've been flirting with her. Okay, what else? They got her so comfortable, she blurted out some stuff she probably shouldn't have. Stuff about you, Yagami-san. Well, that's nothing I can't handle. But rolling with RK is bad news. She needs to stop. Their leaders are ex-Yakuza, you know. I knew it. So they actually are dangerous, then. Yes. What's really going on? They asked Akane which student you cared about the most. What? So she kind of blurted out Koda's name. Oh no. She did what? Yeah, even Akane knew she messed up. So she called me right after. Yagami-san, you've been mixed up with RK, right? You think they might go after Koda? Can you try to get in touch with her? Actually, I haven't been able to. What about Akane? Oh, right. Uh... Let me try and call. This is bad. If anything happens to poor little Koda-san, I swear I'll be pissed. Hello, Matsun? Akane, where are you right now? The last place Mikoshiba-sensei was. Huh? I'm with RK. We're at the building where Mikoshiba-sensei's body was found. Why? Matsun, are you with Yagami already? What? How do you know about that? It's Yagami. Is Koda-san there, too? She is. Yagami-san! It's me! Koda! Please! Help me! Miss Yagami? <laughs> Come on over and we'll play. You know the place, right? Who is this? Not important. Better hurry, or else Koda-chan will have to entertain us. Know what I mean? Don't! What the hell do you want? Come down and find out. Oh, I'm sure this goes without saying, but if you go to the cops, these girls are as good as dead. Do you guys even understand what you're doing right now? <laughs> Better hurry. What? 
What's happening? Atsun, you stay here. Tsukumo! I'll contact Kaito-san and Higashi-san for help. And I'll fly my drone out to the scene, too. Perfect. Counting on you. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Matsun. We're gonna save her. Don't worry, man. Don't worry, man. Let's go, Yagami-san. Hurry up, or I'm leaving without you. Okay. Let's go to Miku. How far away is that? It's not too far away. Okay. Let's go. Come on. I should probably get in a taxi, but I don't think it's worth it for this journey. Oh shit, who's that? What's up? Yagamishi, this is Tsukumo. My drones just arrived at the scene. Koda-san and Akane-san are with some men. About 20 of them. Oh great. Where's Kaito-san and Higashi? I've contacted them. They're on their way now. Good. Okay, it's gonna be a 4 versus 20 situation. But we've, we've had worse odds before, you know? I think we're fine. Okay, we made it. We made it. We're about to get into a fight there, but... Okay, here we go. Hey! He's here! It's Yagami! <laughs> Uh-oh. Talk! This where those RK guys are holed up? He's Soma with them? Nobody's had eyes on him yet. Just a sec. Tsukumo? I've confirmed the enemy position, Yagamishi. They have our two young hostages surrounded. So a head-on assault would be too dangerous. Naturally, I've already come up with some countermeasures we can run. Would you care to hear my plan? <laughs> you always come through, man. Okay, then. Walk us through it. Two of us go one way, two of us go the other way. Yep, me and Kaito going this way. Oh no, we're all here. Wow. Look who decided to show up. Tugiera's not. Too scared to come with it, all your little bodyguard buddies? I like you've got room to talk. Tugiera's gonna drop in from How the top or something. How many does it take to watch these girls? I never thought it would end up like this. You believe me, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> But we'll have to save the lecture for after all this is over. You'll be free soon. That goes for you too, Kodasan. <laughs> you so sure about that? You kidnapped them to get to me? Well, here I am, so let's go. <laughs> we did lure you here. So we can beat your sorry ass to death. Okay then. <laughs> so what was your plan? Throw all these guys at us as soon as we kick down the door? Huh. <laughs> We're smarter than that, you know. Yeah. We knew you'd have some backup! Here comes! Let's take out the trash! Yagami! Hands where I can see them! And same for you two! Hey, calm down. I've got one more thing. I'm not a big fan of guns. Huh? Shit! Look there! Face the wrath of Ishizu Yokohama 99! The wicked shall be smited and retribution shall be swift! Boom! <laughs> oh, here comes Sugiera, Kaito, and Higashi! Let's go, boys. Take out the guy with the gun first if we can. <laughs> Kaito's so badass. You're dead! Come on. Did you really think one gun was enough to take out a crew like us? Cool. You're wrong. You two sit tight a little longer. But just to warn you, I'm gonna go hard on these guys. You wanna see some asses kicked? Don't blink, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. I want them down before the smoke clears. Yeah. Come on! Come on, pussies. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh oh, here comes more of them. Get an F5 by Kaito! Oh, <laughs> 
I love how everybody else in the room disappears when there's one fight scene happening. <laughs> okay, members. Come on, then, bitches. Step away from the window. All right, I'm away from the window. Boom! Boom! That was sick. Hey, hey, chill! Lovely. I need to use a health item for goodness sake. I'm about to die already. Um. I have a two nan egg sandwich, an Odin, a bento lunch set, all that good shit, eh? Jesus Christ, every time I get back up, I'm getting knocked down, it feels like. Lovely. Boom, bitch! Here we go! You get away from the window. Oh, was that one down there? Could have told me that, for goodness sake, man. Oh my god, he just stabbed me in the neck. Here we go! Jesus, this guy's killing me, man. I think I need to go to Tiger Cell against this guy. Oh, run! How have you guys not killed this guy, yet, by the way? There you go. Alright, come on, Higashi. Help me out here. Why is Kaito not helping either? I tell him the bad Yagami! Boom, bitch! Land on the grenade as well, yep. Yeah. Nice. Yes, just like that. Really? Really? Lovely. Higashi and me with the old... Oh my god, dude. Christ almighty. How many times do I have to use a goddamn health item today? Too many damn times, that's for sure. We are ready to go! There you go! Yes, Yogg! Yeah, baby! Got him! Freaking got him, son! Get down and out! See you later! Is Soma gonna come now, I have a feeling? We did. We saved you. All good, though. I'm... so sorry. No. I'm the one who got you into this. It's not your fault, it's RK's. But I'm next in line after them. <laughs> Besides, I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. Coda. I'm really sorry. It's alright. Well, I'm gonna head home. Uh-oh. It's him. Soma. What? Who? Cut Let's it. run! Get back! Huh? Here all by yourself? What are you trying to pull? Oh, I'm just here to talk. To be honest, Kwanos put us in kind of a tight spot. How so? Well, he's got Kawai's body, Reiko Kusumoto's victim, <laughs> hidden in a freezer, of all places. Been on ice for what, five years? You know about this, Yagami? Yeah. Problem is, he's planning to reveal its location on the internet. If that happens, Kusumoto-san will be ruined. No doubt, her fingerprints and other traces are all over the damn corpse. Yeah, but that's for the better. I mean, she won't have to listen to you. Reiko Kusumoto is a capable woman who can swim with the tides. She's irreplaceable. It would be unfortunate to lose her over some low life she had to put down. She's on our side now, and she's accepted it. So it's your duty to protect people like that? I protect order, 
not people. Consider me a necessary evil. Necessary evil? That's right. If I hadn't gone undercover, the Tojo clan's ex-Yakuza would be spread all over by now. If that happened, we never would have been able to track their current activity. That's why I created the RK Network. To keep Kamurocho's underground under control. Much safer and less messy than wiping them out indiscriminately. But in the shadow of order, there's always a pair of dirty hands. Right. Kiwana said something like that too. Hmm. <laughs> but if there's one difference between the two of us, it's that I find my work enjoyable. It gives me purpose. When I dirty my hands, it's in the service of order. It goes back to a necessary evil to maintain peace in this country. In my eyes, peace does require violence. It only works when killers are below the surface, keeping it afloat. Sawa-sensei too? Is that the peace you want? <laughs> Yoko Sawa? She did have to die. She almost connected the Mikoshiba case to Kuwana. She was getting very close to it. She may even have figured out Reiko Kusamoto was involved. The fewer people who know a secret, the better kept the secret stays. I don't remember even hesitating on that call. And I think that means... Well, you guys won't like hearing this. But it was justified. You asshole! Whoa, whoa. Don't fly off the handle now. I haven't finished what I had to say. What the fuck? Did I mention how much of a pain in the ass Kuwana made this? He negotiated for your lives, using Kuai's body as leverage over us. What? So relax, would you? I don't plan on killing you here. Then why even show your sorry face? The trial for Ehara-san is coming up, right? You know, the groping thing. I've come here with a request that I hope you'll consider. This from you? Reiko Kusumoto's name is not to come up during the Ehara trial. That shouldn't be so hard, right? Shirosaki-sensei would have to agree to this, too. And if we were to refuse? Nothing. It's Kusumoto-san's request. She is asking nice. What? A mother doesn't want her child branded a murderer's son. Could you give her that much? <laughs> and that's all. I'm sure we'll talk soon. You think so, huh? Why put off what we can settle now? Soma! <laughs> Akane! Akane-chan! Uh, why am I... The flare, oh, paint gun. You okay? <laughs> smart. Very smart. That son of a... <laughs> well, hell, that's gotta hurt. But a bruise sure beats the alternative, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'd say he got us good with that one. Yeah, but that was a terrible call. If Soma hadn't been packing a paint gun, that would have been really bad. You two are more important than him. I should have prioritized protecting you. Yagami-san. You've been brave. I'm sure this was really scary for you. We'll need to do things one step at a time, Kaito-san. We can't tackle it all at once. First thing... Ahara's groping appeal needs to become a murder trial that outs Kawana and his students. That way, if public security is our real enemy here, we'll have the prosecution and the courts on our side. That'll be on me. I'll reveal a truth no one can deny. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty much your specialty. Send that asshole to jail for good. Let's do it! You've got this, Yagami-san. Whoa, this is crazy. Why is he so hot? Am I right? <laughs> 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 Just a minute ago, she got shot. 
And now look at her. <laughs> Teenagers. <laughs> She's still freaking out. <laughs> Oh, Sugiera, the womanizer, huh? <laughs> womanizer, womanizer! Go on, Sugiera, you legend. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. One month later, moments before the appeal hearing. Hello? Yeah, I'm getting ready now, sorry, son. We're looking good, too! Damn, Yagami! Oversleep? Ah, I would never... <laughs> okay. Yep. All right, see you at the courthouse. All right, here we go. To the courthouse with our lawyer's badge. All right, exciting times ahead. Time for a high-res appeal trial. Better take a cab to the courthouse. Let's go ahead and freaking do it. You can learn new skills. I don't really know... What we would learn is the only thing. Now we're all good for now. We're all good for now. All right, let's take a cab. We're here already. Oh, damn. Adahara? No, oh, that's the judge. Okay. Held on violation of Shinjuku Station's anti nuisance ordinance, the defendant of this appeal is active duty officer Akihiro Ahara. He was previously convicted and sentenced to six months. However, the defense wholly rejects the sexual battery charge and asserts his innocence. The prosecution points to two pieces of evidence to prove the defendant guilty. One is the security camera footage from Ikebukuro to Shinjuku Station. The other is fiber traces from the victim's undergarments on the defendant's hand. The defense maintains this was not sufficient evidence to issue a guilty verdict. We have prepared counter-arguments to each piece of the prosecution's evidence. How does the prosecution respond? We maintain the original sentence was perfectly adequate. That is all. Then first, let's examine the security footage from Ikebukuro and Shinjuku Station submitted at the first trial. This is footage of Ikebukuro Station on October 7th at 7.43 a.m. The individual wearing sunglasses and a mask is believed to be the defendant. This person remains in the area for over an hour, watching as countless trains make their stops. At 9.06 a.m., he locates the victim of this case, then he boards the train and pursues her. This footage of the station platform is from when the suspect and victim board the train car. We already saw this during the first trial. Let's not be redundant. Of course not. The victim claimed the defendant moved in a suspicious manner once the train left Ikebukuro Station, ultimately placing his hand under her skirt. After they arrived at Shinjuku Station six minutes later, the victim gathered her courage and grabbed his hand. However, there's a possibility the offender seen here is not the defendant himself, but a different person entirely, a stand-in. The goal was to disguise this event as an alibi for the murder which occurred in Yokohama that same morning. In other words, this instance of sexual battery was a conspiratorial fabrication. The original verdict was issued without taking this into consideration, resulting in an inadequate trial. Looks like Sari-san started the fire. The game has officially begun. This is merely speculation. The defense has no proof to support these claims. <laughs> Precisely the issue. Yes, there is indeed no definitive proof that confirms the existence of a stand-in. However, the notion itself cannot be disproved, even with all of the prosecution's evidence. Would you care to elaborate, please? The assailant fled the train and was caught shortly after on the Shinjuku station platform. Many nearby passengers filmed the scene, which then circulated throughout Japan. The impact may have been greater since the defendant was an active duty officer. Oh, that's that dude. That journalist guy. that the man apprehended at the platform was the defendant. 
Upon arrival, station police arrested him and immediately performed a trace element inspection. With that said, there's a very real possibility the offender who ran off the train was an entirely different person. And we have the evidence to prove that. We have two offenders dr dressed just like Ihara. What evidence shows they swapped places after one of them ran? We have the, um, the gap here, I think, right? Would be it. Eyewitness. Okay, it's this. It's this! If you'll kindly look at this. What is this? Display it on the large monitor, please. Is that a diagram of Shinjuku Station? That's correct, Your Honor. First, the victim and the offender ran onto the platform as soon as the train doors opened. The train car they boarded is here on this map. We've marked the offender's route with an arrow. The lighter areas on the overhead view are within the security camera's line of sight. More people pass through Shinjuku than anywhere on Earth in a single day. It's packed with security cameras. However, this arrow with the dotted line reveals the existence of a small blind spot. That's where the defendant and stand-in swapped places. I see. So you claim this was their opportunity? Yes. As such, I'd like to question the defendant once more over the seven. <laughs> Question him. Defendant, when you were issued the verdict in your first trial, you said the following to the judge. In a warehouse about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. If that wasn't enough, you correctly identified the body as Hiro Mikoshiba, despite the fact the police had yet to do so. How did you manage to pull off such a feat? It came to me in a dream. Strange, I you know. Miko Shiba-san was your son Toshiro-kun's classmate, was he not? That's right. Toshiro Ihara was found dead in his apartment four years ago. He took his own life. Afterward, the defendant sued the school over Toshiro-kun's suicide. Yes? Ihara-san, can you tell us why you sued the school? There were rumors my son had been bullied. Unfortunately, the court wasn't able to substantiate that claim. And these rumors were discovered on the internet? They were. Of the bullies mentioned, Miko Shiba-san's name was among them. Were you aware of this? I was. Would you say you harbored murderous intent against Miko Shiba-san? Objection! The defense's question is irrelevant. This case is to examine whether or not sexual battery took place. Also, the Kanagawa police are actively investigating Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. The courtroom is no place for baseless speculation. How does the defense respond? The timing the of the battery incident makes this case an alibi for Mikoshiba-san's murder. We believe there's a very relevant connection. Very well. The prosecution's objection is overruled. Then please keep it brief. Just as soon as the defendant answers the question. Did you harbor murderous intent for Hiro Mikoshiba? Yes. Of course I did. In other words, Your Honor, it goes like this. On the day Toshiro-kun's bully, Mikoshiba-san, was killed, the defendant set out to synchronize the murder with sexual battery. It became his alibi for the murder, and the prosecution and the court all but approved it. <sighs> a six-month sentence for sexual battery and getting away with murder. That's all the motivation the defendant needed to fabricate this elaborate scheme. His stand-in groped his accomplice, and then they swapped places before getting caught. It's all entirely possible. Then the defense should present some evidence to prove it! Wrong. That's not how this works, is it? The prosecution bears the burden of proof in criminal cases. If we go through all the evidence and discover the possibility no groping took place, then it's on the prosecution to refute that. Fine. Have it your way. 
The defense's argument about the security camera's blind spot is flimsy at best. While the defendant was running, his female victim was chasing after him. Surely the victim would have seen if he had switched places with a stand-in. Yet the victim provided no such testimony. The victim, Yui Mamiya, was an accomplice in the scheme. Objection! This is an insult to the victim. Such claims harm the integrity of all women. Damn. How do I prove Mamiya wasn't a victim but a part of a conspiracy? How do I bring up the harassment victim? Yui Mamiya. Shit, what should I say? We have reason to doubt the victim's credibility. The prosecution lacks proper skepticism. We have good reason to doubt the victim's credibility. She was all part of his plan. In fact, that's all but sure. A 50-something man separated from his wife was driven by loneliness to harassment. That seems much more likely. The way you phrase that, is the prosecution admitting the defense's claims aren't wholly impossible? Beg pardon? That would imply the guilty verdict from the first trial was issued without 100% certainty. Now you're just nitpicking! Defense, if you claim to doubt the victim, then what is your reasoning? Yes, we do. In actuality, she wasn't the only conspirator who helped stage the groping. The bystander who captured the defendant. The witness who recorded the incident on his smartphone. Both men, in conjunction with the victim, were classmates from the same high school. Which means, strange as it sounds, that these seemingly unrelated individuals were in fact all acquaintances. It's clear that this was a carefully organized- I love these courtroom event. scenes. They're badass. Our investigation discovered they all graduated from Kurokawa Academy in Tokyo 13 years ago. Additionally, Yoko Sawa, the teacher who was killed in Ijincho, graduated from the same class. Four years ago, she was the teacher of the defendant's son, Toshiroku. We believe this indicates a connection between the Kurokawa Academy graduates and this case. Look at Hoshino-kun in the background. Of course, that's as deep as we need to go on that. We've simply presented the possibility that multiple conspirators were present when the defendant was apprehended. And as long as such a possibility exists, the defense asserts the defendant cannot be found guilty. Your Honor, may I speak? What is it? I haven't committed murder. Per my conviction, I am just a pervert who victimized a woman on the train. Everything else is in the defense's imagination. Imagination, huh? Then I guess it's time. We're about to present the tape, baby. Oh. Defendant, why did you agree to this appeal then? You can ask my lawyers that. I simply didn't stop them. How does the defense respond? It's just as the defendant says. However, we believe his recollection may be a bit fuzzy. To refresh his memory, I'd like him to take a look at some footage. Will you permit this, Your Honor? Now what? But please, don't display this on the large monitor. We shouldn't shock the public. It's footage of a murder. Excuse me, wasn't that denied as evidence? As I said, this is solely to refresh your memory. It's up to the judge whether or not we show it. Please proceed. That's just internet footage with no known origins. No. This footage is from the SD card in the camera used to record it. This is a write once read many card, also known as a worm. The police use it to photograph evidence. Anything recorded on it is highly reliable data. After serving your time, you intended to release this to the public. But Kawana can't wait for that to happen. And that's why he left it in my care. Don't kill me. Please. I'm 
sorry. Those are all good. I'll make it up to him. I'll atone for it. I swear I'll try to make it up to him somehow. I'll spend the rest of my life making up for it. Even hearing it, man, without even seeing it, just... Ah, dude. My god, it's brutal. Defendant, in that footage, is the person in the white raincoat you? You could say it looks like me. The person you killed is Hiro Mikushiba. According to the autopsy report, that girl he looks died 11 in the front row. <laughs> 7:30 a.m. on October 7th. Therefore, it can only be that the person who passed through the ticket gate shortly after at 7:43 a.m. was not you, but your stand-in. As the defense, we cannot allow our client's conviction of sexual battery to stand in light of this footage. May we continue questioning the defendant? How does the prosecution respond? Even if the footage has an irrefutable source, that alone does not prove guilt of murder. I'd just like to state that in advance. So the prosecution is denying the murder? <laughs> Remind me who exactly is defending me here? Good question. The defense repeatedly mentions a stand-in, but where is this person currently? Who even are they? The person on the station security footage was wearing sunglasses, but he looked just like the defendant. We believe he used a mask made from a 3D printer. If you look closely, the alleged defendant at Ikebukuro Station and on the train does not move his mouth at all. We learned this from sources who may have been the stand-in and the collaborators. Then we should call them to the stand to testify. No need. The defendant should know all of this already. I don't know anything about it. He said he doesn't know. So what now? The defendant admitted to sexual battery, not murder. The murder footage has excellent production value, but nothing else corroborates the defense's claims. Your Honor, I would like to request further witness testimony from the victim. Denied. Both the defendant and the victim certified the validity of the battery, leaving no room for discrepancies. It would be unprecedented for a victim to testify further in this situation. By that logic, there's no precedent for using battery as an alibi for murder either. I will admit there is a possibility, but not enough to justify subjecting the victim to further distress in court. I must once again deny the request. But... Defense? I've made myself clear. Damn. Your Honor, following the defendant's last statement, we have a few more questions. Understood. Please proceed. What's next? He's getting pissed now. I can't let Ahara keep playing dumb. There's gotta be something I can do. As for Hiro Mikashiba's murderer, who do you think it is? I work for the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. Anything in Kanagawa is out of my jurisdiction. All of his fingers were broken. A clear sign his killer held a grudge and intent. Then the investigation would start with anyone who harbored such a grudge. Like you? That's all I can really say about that. You believed Mikoshiba pushed your son to the point where he killed himself. Sounds like you have every reason to hold a grudge against him. Your Honor, this is going nowhere. The defense has been going off the rails all day. Sustained. Defense, is there anything further? Ahara-san, you're familiar with Jin Kuwana, aren't you? He's a handyman in Ijincho. Nope. Never heard of him. On October 7th, Kawana disguised himself as you and boarded a train in Ikebukuro bound for Shinjuku Station. He was the stand-in for the sexual battery mentioned earlier. Your Honor, no evidence has been submitted to verify that statement. The name Kawana was not present on any documentation, nor was the prosecution notified. 
Kawana is the very person who encouraged the defendant to murder Mikoshiba-san. Defense. As the prosecution has stated, no one by the name of Kuwana is known to the court. We've not even confirmed if he exists. Please refrain from this line of questioning. But, Your Honor, Kuwana is a key factor in the defendant's motive. Without him, Ahara-san never would have killed Mikoshiba and we wouldn't be in this courtroom. Am I getting through to you? I don't know a Kawan. No, you definitely do. Kawan is the one who fanned the flames of vengeance. You do well to remember that. We can prove a heart and Kawan are connected by pointing to the motive to murder Mikoshiba. Oh shit, the phone call. The phone call, the recorded call with Sawa Sensei, right? I think that could prove it. Take a listen to this. What is it? It wasn't just some random internet post that made you decide to kill Mikoshiba-san, was it? Even while battling the school in court, you still didn't know for sure who pushed Hoshiro-kun to his death. That's when Kuwana came to you with this recording, right? Hmm? That's... Why do you... Mm-hmm! <laughs> He's rattled now! Hoshiro-kun came running to the roof. His face was pretty swollen. And a few minutes later, a student named Mikoshiba came up looking for him. I'll never forget the fear I saw in Toshiro-kun's face. That's the voice of Yokosawa, the teacher Toshiro-kun confided in about being bullied four years ago. It was recorded in secret and played for the defendant by Kawana. He told me about everything. The teasing, the beatings, the theft. How nobody was on his side. And yet, I had to deny all this in front of an entire courtroom. Believe me, I never wanted to do that. But they said there was no hope, that I was the only witness with no proof whatsoever. After hearing this, the defendant came to believe Miko Shibasan's unchecked aggression toward Toshiro was the driving force behind his son's tragic suicide. And ultimately, this became his motivation for murdering Mikoshiba-san and staging his elaborate cover-up. Isn't that right, Ihara-san? Is it coming back to you yet? Afraid not. I see. Oh, his hair Is just changed. All? Can the defense please get back on track? This recording only came into my hands by means of Kawana. Except, thinking about it now, much like the murder footage, that would qualify as an unreliable source, wouldn't it? What? We live in an age where audio and video footage can be fabricated and easily reproduced. What are you getting at? Sawa-sensei, the one speaking in the recording, was murdered only days ago. And the one who recorded it, Kuwana, disappeared without a trace. Meaning that as far as this recording is concerned, no one is left who can prove that it's authentic to the court. Except for you, Ihara, you know damn well everything in that recording is true. You gotta admit to it. Or is my understanding incorrect? You got justice for his you son. You say you're completely unaware of the details about your son in this recording. Kawana had it. Didn't he play it for you? I never heard it. Regardless of the content, it has nothing to do with me. So you say. In that case, Let's just assume, then, that Kawana and I are the only ones in possession of this audio recording. And, considering that Kawana has all but vanished without a trace, that would actually make this the only copy, and me the sole owner. No backup exists. What are you getting at? If this has no value in this courtroom, then I'm afraid it's never going to have a value beyond today. And being that you claim it's unrelated to you or this case, then it wouldn't bother you. If I were to delete it from my phone right here and now... Why would... That's crazy. I wouldn't! Okay. Then tell me why I shouldn't do it. Because... Mikoshiba was a man who should never have escaped being judged. That's the proof of my son's pain. The proof that everyone ignored. That recording is all I have left of him! took the school to court because Toshiro deserved justice. 
But all they could say is that the cause of his suicide couldn't be determined. In the end, not a single person was held responsible. No proof, no justice. My son was hung out to dry. Yes. That's all true. All of you. You're all so incompetent. You see yourselves as these paragons of law and justice. Yet the truth slips right through your fingers. And then, my alibi made you a mockery. I made it so real. You passed me off as just another pervert. You were gullible. Every single one of you. Toshiro threw his life away and justice was blind to his pain. Mikoshiba walked free because of you. You condone murder and call yourselves the law. That's why. That's why I did it. I took Mikoshiba's life with my own hands. This is coming in hot. Remember that pervert cop? Turns out he's actually a murderer. To recap, you killed Hiro Mikoshiba and Ijincho, then headed to Shinjuku Station where you and Kawana pulled off a switch, and there you were ultimately arrested as a groper. Yeah. That's right. Defendant, you bear animosity for the whole system. We can't just take your words at face value. If you're responsible for Mikoshiba-san's murder, can you bring forward any evidence, or just the murder footage? To tell you the truth, I have something that I was holding on to for the impact that it would have. It's very real evidence that the law has failed us. What have you been hiding then? Will it prove you killed Mikoshiba? Yes. Murder weapon. Then what is it? If you go to my wife's apartment, you'll find my son's altar there, in it. You'll find the weapon I used for the crime, the knife I murdered him with. It still has Mikoshiba's blood on it. <sighs> Wait a minute, Genda-sensei. I prayed at that altar. Well, I guess you can lead a horse to water. Very well, then. We'll open an investigation. Defense. Will there be anything further? No matter how justified, vengeance is not something we can ever take into our own hands. That said, in the case of Ahara-san, our system failed him. We know the law strives to be just, but it failed to prove Toshiro-kun was bullied. That's not justice. Not when no one is held responsible. I'm getting goosebumps, the law, man. As well as those who enforce it, are far from perfect. So to the court, I say let this case be a lesson. The law is failing to save people who need saving. It's clear proceedings should be adjourned. At a later time when Mikoshiba-san's murder weapon is recovered, we can resume the trial. I'm willing to do that via a special exception. Defense? Prosecution, is that clear? No objections. The defense rests, Your Honor. Why do I have a feeling Kawana is gonna get the weapon before us? Anyone else think that? Like, they just told everyone here where the murder weapon was. Someone could easily go and grab it. I don't know. Well... Kanagawa PD called from the Ahara residence. Okay, they got it. The knife. I'm ashamed to admit that I was so blind to his scheme. Well then, that makes two of us. <sighs> Seems I underestimated you. And the worst part of all, I was arrogant. I like this guy. Legal authority and organizational connections should never be held above the pursuit of truth. I'm glad you were able to make me see that again. Thank you. <laughs> nah. You've come a long way. Genda-sensei. 
Prosecutor Takano's been stubborn as hell from the day he passed the bar. Once he's made up his mind, nothing can stand in his way, not even his own boss. And he only vows once in a blue moon, so I hope you remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Genda law. I'm never going to like you. <laughs> you two really pulled it off. Great job. You did it. Yagami-san. Oh shit. It's Kusumoto, the vice minister. Bondo. He's from public security? Right. You handled that with such grace, Yagami Sensei. It's no wonder Kawana holds you in such high regard. What brings you here? Yagami Sensei, would you mind if we talked alone? Why, though? Something we can't hear? The more you know, the more you risk. You'd be endangering your own lives. If you're willing to accept that, feel free to stay. We'll clear the room. At this point, we'd just be getting in Yagami-san's way. I'm kind of scared, guys, not gonna lie. I'm kind of scared. Ah! All right, let's do this. Let's talk. Let's talk, Bambo. It was nearly a month ago that Kusumoto-san received a letter from Kawana. Though we were unable to use it to trace him. What did it say? Soma told you, didn't he? Kawana hid Shinya Kawai's body, seeing as Kusumoto-san's fingerprints and other traces were still on it. If that surfaces, the Ministry of Health will have yet another massive scandal on its hands. As such, we'd like to recover and dispose of the body as quickly as possible. Perhaps we'll need to melt it down. The body was originally preserved to maintain control over Mitsuru's bullies. I never imagined it would be used against me someday. Fine, but why are you telling me this? Because of the letter he sent. Once Eihara-san's trial is over, he wanted to talk to you. Using my phone. Huh? <laughs> Is that Kawana? Kusumoto-san, is Yagami there? Put me on speaker, please. Getting crazy now. Go ahead. So, it seems Ehara-san's trial was a big success. He took our failing legal system and turned it on its head. Couldn't have done it without you. I don't know what you're thinking, but public security has to be tracing this call. You have a plan? No, not this time. That's why I'm using my own phone. And that's just the way I want it. Can't run forever, you know. The hell are you saying? If they catch you, you're a dead man. That's exactly why I'm negotiating to prevent that. Kusumoto-san. Yes. I'll be up front with you. I never imagined the day would come that you would be the one to betray me. But if I had to guess, Mitsuru-kun must have woke up. If that's the case, then Kawaii's murder, your whole past, you're not the only one it stands to ruin. If all that comes into the light, Mitsuru-kun will be labeled the son of a murderer. Exactly. I can't let that... That's the one thing I need to prevent. I know. That's good. That's exactly what you should be doing. So please, don't stop now on my behalf. Enough is enough. You and your son have been through enough hell. I want to protect Mitsuru-kun too. Almost as much as his mother. Where is Kawai's body? Tell me. I can only assume this call is being traced, so even as we speak, I'm standing somewhere very close to it. You gave us the location. I'm going to dispatch Soma. 
Kawada, where are you? I'm an Injincho. If I take even one step out of this city, I'd be powerless. I've got nowhere else left to go. Kawada! We gotta find him, man. They're gonna kill him. After they find Kawai's body and Kawana is taken care of, I'm next on the list. Bondo can act at his own discretion. If he wants me gone, he'll be able to silence anyone who could know too much. Sawa Sensei was just the first victim. <sighs> you yourself have sealed this fate, you know. Will you tell him? Will you tell Mitsuru Kun about Sawa Sensei? Surely you know it wasn't my fault. Sawa-san's death was a tragedy. I never imagined that would happen. What about Kawana? Can you imagine how his death is going to play out in a few hours? I can. But I'm not going to let him go down without a fight. Which means... I'm going to Ichincho. I can talk some sense into Bando. I won't allow him to kill indiscriminately. So please, don't go out there to risk your life. That's how it works. No promises. Tsukumo, Kawana's still out in Ichincho. Soma and RK are heading there too. We need to get to him fast. Wait, are you sure about that? You should be able to pick up some chatter. Pinpoint the location. I'm on my way. I'll talk to you soon. Holy shit, man, it's about to go down. Oh my lord, it's about to go down. My friends. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm ready. We can do this, boys. Tsukumo? I see you've arrived in a gene show safe and sound. What's happening? Is RK on the move? Oh, yes. A picture began circulating on the internet not long ago. It was likely Kawana san who put it out there. I just sent it over to you. Hang on. Is this oh my God. Shinya Kawai? That's his body. Indeed it is. Thanks, Yug. I data mined the image and found out it was taken just minutes ago. I also have the location. It's a warehouse company on Yokohama's coast. And Kawana's uncle came up as the proprietor. You mean Siren's owner? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Send me the warehouse's address. Actually, Sugirashi is driving there with Kaito-san and Higashi-san right now. If you want to ride, take Ichizaki Road and head to Surukame Highway. <laughs> Can't count how many times you've come through for this <laughs> Just trying to return the many favors, Yagamichi. What a legend. I love it, man. A word of advice from here to the end, the battles will be intense. If, if that sounds like... Uh, it may be a problem, it might be a good idea to stock up on items. Can we go stock up on items for us, Kaito-san? Over here! Oh no, they're not gonna let me. We have enough items anyway. I think we have a lot. Decent amount. I hope. I was gonna go over to the pharmacy, but... Uh-oh. Got one happening already. The assholes are like bananas. They only come in bunches. <laughs> Come on then, losers! I think we should probably get in the van and run now. Get in the van and run! There's no point in fighting these guys, man. Oh, we're gonna fight him. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. I take it they don't want us getting to Kiwana-san? Guess they were expecting us. Sure are right. making a big show of it. What are those people doing? Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Should we call the cops? Kaito-san, we're running out of time. Let's wrap this up quick. Yeah! Can't you see we're in a hurry? Quit stalling and come get some! Come on then, losers! Let's go! Boom, baby! Lovely little parry. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Let's use this bat. Boom, boom, boom. I love this bat. Oh, yes, sir. Come on, then, losers. Let's be having you, eh? How many? There's gonna be like waves of them here, isn't there? Boom, boom! Boom! See ya! Come on, then. Back boy! Oh, you got me and Kaito? That's kind of messed up you did that, honestly. Hey, buddy! That's not cool! See ya! Haha, <laughs> Shibuya! Persona! Really? You're still alive, bro? Honestly, I thought you were dead. Get up, Yagami! Jesus Christ! How long are you gonna take to get up, man? I swear that dude just said Persona. <laughs> Alright, they're just gonna keep on coming here, aren't they? Alright, let me um, use some items, because we are quite low on health. Tuna, fresh lettuce sandwich, tuna egg sandwich, Odin, and the lodge set. Here we go. Hey, come on, Yog. See you, pal. Yeah, hit him there. Nice one. Boom, 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 boom. Damn it. Come on, guys, help. Oh, for fuck's sake, lads, you guys suck. That was kind of nice, that little dodge there that we did. That was sick. <laughs> that was kind of sick. Yeah, we got quite a bit of... That barely gives us anything at all. That completely restores. We still have one of them, actually, yeah. Nice little dodge there. Really, Yogg? Jesus Christ, dude, help me out, guys! Is this a fucking joke, man? None of the buttons I'm pressing are goddamn working. What the hell was that? What a waste of items that was. Yeah, yeah, lads, I'm fine here. Don't bother helping me at all, lads. I'll just stand here in the corner while you guys stand around him and do nothing. I can't do anything. I actually simply can't do anything. Fucking joke, that is. That's a, that fight is a joke. I hate those ones where they just continuously attack and don't stop. And you don't even have time to do anything. Piece of shit. You fall, freeze. Oh my god, there's more. Somehow they never show up when you need them. But they're right there when it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Think this bunch is with public security? I'm not sure. Either way, we don't have time to deal with them. In the van. Relax, fellas. I can vouch for these guys. Nabe san. <laughs> the lid came off the Mikoshiba case. We can investigate the connection to Ahara. But what the hell are you guys doing here? Kawana's in a tight spot, actually. Can I count on you? Will the cops help? What do you mean by a tight spot? Take a step back, please. These men are gonna be under our jurisdiction. This has to wait. We're dealing with a matter of life and death here. Be quiet! Hey, I told you I could vouch for these guys. Why don't we all just chill out and let them explain what they're doing? <laughs> What the hell? I suggest you stay out of this. Okay, name and department. Our orders are coming from way higher up the chain than yours, sir. So again, stay out of this. There's nothing stopping me from arresting a detective. Or do you want to try me? <sighs> and do your orders include going around belting us with your batons? We're about to have a problem here, aren't we? All four of you, put your hands up and face the car. Said, move! Oh, damn! It's Yagami-san! What brings you all the way out here? Matsu? Akane? Hey! Stop that! Whoa! Back off, dude! Hey! Check it out! These goddamn cops? They're checking my friend's food because they're shady as fuck! I'm no expert, but is that shit legal? Nice. Sugiura. Start the car. Okay. <laughs> the student's <laughs> coming in clutch for us, baby. Mom, there's a cop here and he's creeping on me. <laughs> Those kids aren't even half bad. Let's roll. The detective, we just left the detective. Oh, so. Hit him, hit him. I don't care. 
Lol, man, let's go, Tesso! <laughs> Looks like everybody's on our side. Except RK and the cops. Great. That's so so raw. He's gonna be waiting for us. I'm on it. Going as fast as I can. I need more health items now, though. I didn't think that fight would take as many out of me as it did. But, uh, it is what it is, I guess. We might struggle now. <laughs> we might struggle a bit from now on. Tsukumo, we're just about at the place. You got a visual? Yeah, the view's great from up here, Yagamishi. From my position, it looks like RK is swarming the whole building. And of course. Soma? I can't confirm his location, unfortunately. Kuwana-san either. Okay, so give me a number here. How many RK we got? I'd say about a hundred. A hundred? It's a massive warehouse, so they need all the manpower they can get. They seem to have fanned out to search for Kawhi's body. The good news is there's no indication they found it yet. Tsukumo-kun, got any bright ideas for where I should park this thing? I'm afraid it won't matter too much. The enemy already knows you're on route. You'll have a welcoming party no matter where you decide to enter from. <laughs> That works. Just means we get to show up and beat down the front door. We might need your help again with that goddamn drone in the dust or something. How the hell are we gonna take on a hundred guys? Honestly, guys, we might be in trouble there. Go, Kaito. Are you guys ready? Hey, anyone else getting some good deja vu from kicking a bunch of asses in a downpour? I'm pretty pumped, actually. It's reminding me I'm alive, you know? Come on, man. Were you that bored back in Kamurocho? Go! Let's freaking go, boys. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need to use some health <laughs> items right away. Let's go. And I'm also going to need to maybe use some, um... All right, let's do this thing. Oh, nice. Boom, yes, sir! Oh my god, yes, thank god. I think I just got that ability. And now, oh boy, am I glad I did. We are owning right now. Neckbreaker, baby, let's go. And we knock loads of them down with that, too. Come on, then, pussies. Let's go. Come on. Boom! Boom, Oba! Disarm, son! Disarm, then I got your weapon now. Really? You missed that? Come on, Yagami, son. You gotta be better than that, son. You're down. You're down. And you're down, pal! What's up now, bitch? Come on, then, fool! You're down, too! This is too damn easy! You want some cute fat boy? Little fat sawada? Oh, fat boy doesn't want to be taken down. Oh my god, we got launched! That was kind of sick, honestly. That was sick as well. The fear now, pussy? What's up, boy? You guys are getting absolutely... Oh shit, I tried to get out of the way. Come on, man. Do it to him. This boy has a knife. Oh no, we didn't get the guy with the knife, but that's all right. Boom. Got a lot of his health down, actually. All right. Paito's low on health, actually. That boy got slammed. All right, we need, we need help. We need help. Oh, okay. He did not, he did not like that. I thought I was going to block that, honestly. Where'd you come from, pal? That guy just appeared. What the hell was that? <laughs> Oh, so random. Okay, no, there's literally guys appearing here at the edge of the map. I swear to God. Nice little block there. That was a lovely parry. That was clutch. That could have been bad for us. Yeah! 
Yumura! You're gone! See, more guys just keep appearing. Like out of nowhere. How is that even happening? No idea, but... Hey! I'll be trying to stab Kaito. He's gone through enough. We're being stabbed, all right? Or just keep running in. Is this ever going to stop? Really? I thought I blocked that for sure. Doesn't matter, though, because Saka's... Got I, I already killed this guy. This exact dude. Who the hell's reviving them? Like his name was Kosaka and everything, and he looked exactly like that. Unless there's just multiple of the same guy here. Okay, this guy's goddamn annoying. See it, pal? Shoji? Boom! Get treated, buddy. Yeah, you thought you could run up on me, fool. That was idiotic. Oh, damn, that was kind of nice, not even gonna lie. Come on, Seto. Seto, how, however you pronounce it, I don't care. Oh, I broke your bat. I actually kind of wanted to use it, but... I'll take it broken, too. I knew he was gonna block that, but that's fine, because... I wanted him to block it! Because I wanted a sledgehammer! Oh my god, we have a sledgehammer. <laughs> oh my lord, I just murdered a man! No, he destroyed the sledgehammer. I wanted to use it on this guy, man. Oh, shit. I'm dead. What? I have to go through all that again. I don't fucking believe it, man. I genuinely do not believe that. That is such horseshit, because I didn't even know I was low. Oh, that's just a case of fucking not watching my health and I'm getting one-shotted. That was literally the end. That was the last guy. That is the most frustrating thing in the world. That is genuinely the most frustrating thing in the world. I wish you had. Oh, just get out, man! Alright, we're back down to the last guy, boys. Here we go. Fucking hell, I'm already shocked. He's just gonna focus me now. Now that it's down to just us. Because the game loves doing that. Fuck off, pussy. God, man. Thank God. Good Lord. That took a while. That took longer than it should have. I literally was one-on-one -on -one with that guy 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago, so it took me 10 minutes to get back to this point. I'm a moron for dying there, and here we go again. We're going to have to go in and battle a load more of them. Oh, my God. Feels a little like the end of Uncharted, where you just have to go through gunfight after gunfight after gunfight, and you're just sick of it. Hey, we've got company. I guess the watch isn't doing their job. What are they so mad about? It's not like they're supposed to be here either. <laughs> yeah, they're just ransacking the place. There. This is all to find Kawhi's body. Well, oh. if there's a bright side to any of this. It looks like they still haven't found it. Or Kuana. Indeed. That's it. Break time, fellas! Let's kill these fuckers! Alright, here we go. Come on! Let's go, boys! Let's do this thing. Let's just finish these fools off quick. I don't want no bullshit. No Come on, boy! Is that all you guys got, for real? Okay, this guy's got hands, I'll give it to him. Alright, I need to use some health items, I'm pretty low. We're losing a lot of these as well, guys. We are nearly out, in fact. Boom. Come on, pussy. Finish him. How many left? Just you, pal? Just you? Come on, then, Kaito. Let's finish him off. Boom. All right, these guys are done. Dunzo. See you later, pal. Sayonara. You're gone. Woo! Is that all you got? Because I can 
go all day. <laughs> we know you can, Kaito. You're the man. Phone call, Soma. Never seen this number. Huh? It's Soma. It's Kuana. I assume you're here. Then all the players have assembled. I mean, you're here too. Where are you? Mm -hmm. What is all this? Put simply, a trap for Soma, using Kawai's body as bait. You must have known he'd show up too. So everything from calling Riku Kusamoto to this, it was all to corner Soma? Yeah. I'm gonna drag him kicking and screaming into the light. He only gets away with his shit because he does it in the shadows, and his friends at public security just watch. If I expose them, Kusumoto-san can lead a happy life. You know she sold you out, right? Look, that doesn't matter. This is the only shot we have at Soma. Alone, I could probably kill him. But there's no way I can take him in alive. If you wanted help, you could have just asked. To deceive your enemies, start with your allies. And besides, if you didn't come, I had a plan B. Listen, I'm in the deepest part of the warehouse. Far down as you can go. Oh, it's plan B. Soma's closing in. And we'll just have to get there first. Oh, man. What kind of plan B could he have when he's got a hundred guys surrounding him? I sure would have liked to see that. Me too. Who's it, Chibon? <laughs> Imagine. That would be pretty epic. Anything around here that we can use? Like, they're not giving me any items to pick up, which is a big problem. Because I thought maybe they'd help us pick up some items or something. Might I don't know. There's some arcade down below, too. Probably right. No doubt about it. Hey, look, they have Nanba's umbrella there. <laughs> Nanba! Huh? The hell were the guys up there even doing? Come on, let's trash them! Come on, then. I have some items finally down here. Come on, then, pussies. Ooh, I'm getting out of dodge there. See, I like Crane because he can quickly escape with that one. Oh, his back's turn, baby. Yeah! Let's go, baby! And stay down. Freaking stay down, boys. Get this item here. Yes, toughness Z. Andy, okay. We can get up somewhere, I'm assuming. Are we going down through here? Yep, I guess so. Won't open? Maybe they barred it from the other side. Hey, what's the plan? Let's see if we can find another way. Yeah, there has to be all this stuff in the room for a reason. Like, we can climb up and around or something, definitely. Suspicious. Ah, yes, we can use this 100%. No doubt, we can use this to get on the boxes. Don't have the key. Yeah, but we can use it to climb, surely. Do those drums contain different things? I can feel the wind coming from where the drum is. Maybe some vents, yep. Okay, let's get up there. How do I get up there is the question. How do I get up to the vents? think we can climb up there, right? Hey, oh. what the? We can climb up here first, maybe? And then jump across? The mountain of pallets, that's a pretty solid stack. Climbing up is probably the best call. Okay. I need a boost from one of you guys, probably. Come on, boys. Let's McFreakin' do it now. Huh? This can probably withstand the weight of a few people. There's gotta be somewhere I can climb onto. Suspicious. This thing, right? I think I can climb up from here. There we go. Investigation complete. It was a pretty hey simple investigation, actually. Oh, pretty straightforward. Spot a way through. 
Yeah, let me see if it'll work. You guys keep watch in case anyone's tailing us. Gotcha. You can leave that to us. Be quick, but keep it cool, Tog. I always keep it cool. You know me, I'm just a cool cat. Cool customer, eh? Alright, up we go, boys. Alright, we're making the jump. Oh, wall running. You can cross large gaps by running along a wall. Press X to sprint towards a gap. And press circle when prompted to run along the wall. Boom! Nailed it! Freaking nailed it. Let me get this first. I knew there'd be an item over here. Ooh, that's a big one, too. Those come in clutch. Real clutch. Hey, okay, we're through, boys. I'm gonna let you boys in. Might have to fight off some guys first, I'm thinking. Oh. Oh. Let him in. Ooh. I have to do something about this right now. A yeah, chainsaw or some shit. Oh, no, it wasn't locked. <laughs> Here we go. All right, you made it. Now let's hightail it to Kuana. Let's do it. Tide Taylor to Kiwana, huh? Is this one barred too? Imagine. That door looks like it leads ahead. No shit, Sherlock. Locked. Let me see if I can pick it. Okay. Pick locking? They're, they're bringing in pick locking 30 hours into the game. There we go. Got it. Okay. We're in. The man, Yagami san. I am. I am the man. You're right. I just straight up am. Oh no. Hey, Lock it behind us. Hold it right there. Lock it. God damn. How many of these guys are there? Close the door. Tak! Sugiyura! Higashi and I'll keep them busy. You guys go on ahead. I'm counting on both you guys. Okay. All those guys look the exact same, by the way. <laughs> All those blind guys literally look the exact same. That's hilarious. All right, let's do it, Sugiyara. Come on. Oh, we're gonna have to climb here, Another definitely. Pile of shit. Well, Yagami-san, I guess we can handle this. I guess so. Let's go climbing. Sugiyara again is just gonna <laughs> show off. <laughs> we're gonna have to go the highway around. That's hilarious. No RK around here. Yagami-san. Find a way to follow me from where you're at. He's like, you definitely can't do what I did, but uh, find a way, man. <laughs> Little barrel roll, baby. That was nice. You... And my inventory was full of them anyway. That pisses me off. That kind of shit where, like, when you're close to the edge, the controls are so dog shit. <laughs> Sakes. It was full anyway. My god, that is a nuisance. Alright, where do I go from here is the question. I think I just dropped down now. I think we just dropped down now, eh? Oh shit, we got more RK! Still more of them. Don't think I can hide from him. Guess I have to fight. Okay, let's fight him. The gear has got our back from up top. Can distract him, do whatever he he do he loves to do, you know. Maybe I could go in quietly. I guess not. Come on, then, Arno, you fucking piece of shit! Boom, lovely. Jesus, that was cool. <laughs> And another attitude adjustment. Boom! Hit him with it. Hit him with it, Yogg. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a Tauriner, seeing as why, why not, seeing as there's one right there. And then just give myself a little, uh, little boost. Genius. Lovely. I accept I took them all out of the way of the grenade. See it, pal. You're done and dusted. All right, that's a lot of them dead. Sweet. I need to see where to go now.
How many Orc here are we going to have to fight here is the question. Like, I guarantee you, it's just going to keep more. Oh, don't tell me this, Morgan. I'm a little tied up over here myself. Go on ahead, yeah? Hey. You all right? I think so. In better shape than kuana san at least. Now hurry up, Yagami-san! Damn it. You better be right behind me. You know I will! Okay. And split up from the whole crew here. Not ideal, but, uh... Toughness Z, always, always clutch. Take that as well, and I think we're going through here where they came from, right? That would make the most sense, I think. A dead end. Now, how do I keep moving forward? What this? If I use this. Wait, I don't have the key. It's not much good, is it? Yagami-san. What the? You can use this to get up. There we go. I mean, I aimed at that at first, but... I guess you kind of got to do it in a specific order. All right. Why do we keep doing this? Like, it's it's a little weird how we're, we keep doing the same thing over and over again. Like, I get it. Cover an al alternate entry route. I'm gonna lose grip here soon, boys. Luckily, we're there. Woo! And more arcade. Surprise, surprise. Oh, here, it looks like a 1v1 situation. Maybe I don't even have to face him at all. That would be awesome if I didn't. It'd be awesome if I could choose whether to fight this guy or not. That would make me respect this game a whole lot more. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I'm gonna have to drop down. Shimmy across. You're not gonna see me, pal, don't you worry. I think we can keep going, right? You know what? I'm just to be safe, I'm gonna get up for a second. Let my thing come up and then I'm gonna go down again. Just to be safe. I don't wanna have to replay this part or end up fighting them just because I uh run out of grip. That would be quite unfortunate. I think I'm gonna have to fight them anyway. There's no way I'm not fighting them. You have to fight everyone you see in this game, man. Unless... Down we go! We're actually not fighting them. Amazing. We got past a couple of guys without fighting them. That is cool. I like that. A little bit of stealth. A little bit of stealth. Kawana, you down here, brother? Oh, what? no, 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 no! There was an item there, for fuck's sakes. I don't stop. Gotta think. Need a lift? Nice job, clearing the path! <laughs> now, what about this? Come on board! We're about to smash into the lot of them. Good. Oh, this is amazing. Do it to him! Full speed ahead! <laughs> I would have loved if we hit a couple of them. That would have been amazing. Yeah, hit this guy. Damn it! <laughs> oh no, this is a boss fight. He's gonna be the boss. The fuck do you kind of guys guy. think you're doing? Your asses are dead! Nah. We're fine. This guy's got a goddamn toolbar. Toolbar. Oh! How do you like that little dodge, pal? That was so sick. Yo. Hey! It got to alone, bitch. No, that was sick. <laughs> See ya. I'll take that. Hey, I wanted your weapon. No, oh, beautiful, man. Hey. Oh, cool, bro. We are owning these fools, man. <laughs> There we go. Boom, oh, I thought it was gonna be a team move. It's not as cool. Oh, Sugiera is low. Hey, get off my boy Sugiera, huh? Get off your back, Sugi. I'm gonna have to use that chair. Beautiful. I'm running, I'm running. It's okay, everybody stay calm. 
Just repositioning, man. I need to I need to use the health item just like in case they can one shot you at any time, you know? It can happen fairly easily. We are running low on health items, man. This is not good, I think. This is not good at all, man. Oh, Christ. And it's only gonna get worse. That's what I meant. Like, that could have one-shotted me. Dude, come on! We're not gonna be able to restock either by the time we face the Soma. You know? Which has me deeply worried about our state in this game, to be honest. Not even what I meant to do, but we'll take it. Really, Yogg? That's what you missed? Come on. Alright, we did it. Beautiful really, stuff. Guys? Really, guys? I've been Whoa, recording for two and a half hours, guys, and the, and the end is not in sight at the moment. <laughs> the end is not in sight at the moment. Not good at all. They're giving us like a few health items along the way, but I'm having to use way more. There's one. That means a health item. The stamina next. Okay. Well, you know what? I might as well use one now and pick this one up. No reason not to. Okay. Through here we go. And down we go. Down in the elevator, elevator. we go, boys. Might take us straight down to the bottom. Kuwana-san and Soma are probably there too. Mm-hmm. All right, get ready first. Uh, I think we're ready. There's nothing more I can really do here. There's nowhere I can buy items. Nothing. Yeah. Let's go. Let's freaking do it. I'm scared, guys. We still have some of those extracts is the only thing that I'm thinking might save my ass. We got some of the extracts and hopefully that does save us really in the end. Find out. Oh my god, it's gonna be a big ass battle, huh? Damn it. Why is this taking so long? Find the wise body and Kuwana will show up. Faster you go, faster we get out of here. This air is unbearable. <laughs> Sir, do you think Kuwana's still around? We already tore this place up. Couldn't he have bailed? Well, he didn't get out with Kawhi's body. No cars have gotten in or out of here since we showed up. Just find the body. We can deal with Kuwana later. Soma-san! Go check it out! Kawhi's body. Sir, uh, I uh, think we found it. Do you see? You can do anything if you they put found your mind it. to it. Did they actually? Yes, they did. Yo, how we doing? Sir, I'm the one who found him. We were just about to pull him out. That's him, all right. Ugh, he's so fucking nasty. Good. Jesus. Get this thing out of here. I've got a buyer ready to pay quite a premium. Good job, everybody. It's Kuana. <laughs> you thought you could hide? Show yourself! Don't you want to try to negotiate? You call this a negotiation? You don't bring a gun to a ceasefire. <laughs> You've led us on a hell of a wild chase, Soma! You shot your own guy, idiot. <laughs> well then, how many mice do we have in the maze? One appears. The weakest dies first. Boom, Sugiera, let's go! That fucking hurt! Uh, I'm gonna fucking kick this little wimp's ass! You call me a wimp asshole? Out of my fucking way! Yes! Come on! Here we go! This is what we came for! Soma dies now! Why? You made it out alive, Yagami. So, is all this playing out exactly as you planned? If we can catch this murderer here and put him in chains, then I'd say we're off to a good start. <laughs> That's hypocritical, isn't it? You say I'm a killer? What's your body count up to? 
I'm just a former Japanese teacher. Sounds to me like you've got it all wrong. Well, doesn't that figure? The only teacher I ever hated was in my high school Japanese class. Soma. I don't know if I've ever met a more twisted piece of shit. Undercover agent or whatever. You've crossed the line without giving a damn. Undercover agent? My men don't need to hear this shit. Sawa-sensei died at your hands. You deserve what's coming. I'm afraid that's what you say when you have the upper hand. Of course, dude. Like, how many men are we gonna fight in this goddamn warehouse, bro? Guys! Turn it on! Like, this is ridiculous. Now it's time to give him hell! Okay. It's just unrealistic at this down. point. We would be dead oh, long yeah. ago. <laughs> Yagami has to be the greatest fighter in the history of the world. And then some. Let's get oh, this over shit. with. Here we fucking go, boys. Alright, let's use this super strength that attacks will break through the enemy's guard and you can hold heavy weapons like motorcycles. You'll also be less likely. Let's use this. For 60 seconds here, let's use this. What about the extracts do we, that we have? First, let's use this one. Come on, man. Why did you not use the goddamn triangle, though? Dude, I missed it. That's annoying. That's annoying. How long is this lasting? It's still lasting, so we're literally not missing any attacks right now, which is really nice. There you go. Really? That one again? Come on. Of all ones you could use, though, that was a shit one. Ooh, you just tossed Kazuki Soma at his own men, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep hitting him, dog. Boom, let's go, baby. Pick up that bat. Let's go. Hurata! I'm guessing they're just gonna keep coming in as well. It's not, yeah, see that guy's coming in when one dies, they just like, keep coming in. Not gonna stop anytime soon. Maybe we gotta, like, focus so much. Or... Come on, buddy. I love how there's no one else in, in here now. There's like a hundred guys around us in this yeah. cutscene, there's no one here. It's so stupid. <laughs> Going after him. Nice dodge. Oh, we're gonna 1v1 him in there, huh? Yagami! I'm going after him, no ah! way. Shit. Oh, we're gonna save it here, okay. It's a save point. Lord knows we need it. Yes. They give me one of them, that's handy. All right. All right, let's use this. Let me use it on a new one. We played 24 hours, 15 minutes. 25 hours, okay. 25 hours now. Shit. Here we go. Come on, Soma. Wait, did I miss an item back out there? Stick around, won't you? Come on, Soma. Behind you. Time for a 1v1 situation. I think it's time to use an extract. What do you think, boys? Oh my god, I've never even seen that before. Which one should we use? A mysterious extract sample that gradually recovers your health. Press circle to fill your X gauge, okay. Mysterious extract sample that allows you to grab enemies with invisible hands by holding circle and releasing circle to deal massive damage. Okay, let's try that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh 
Come on, then, Soma. What's up, boy? We just keep doing that? I guess we can. Might as well keep doing it. We need all the help we can get here. Let's get, it, get the first bar of his health down, at least. I'm gonna use all the extracts here. This is the last fight. I might as well try them all out, man. I mean, I could use some of them in the after game content, but nah. Might as well waste them all here and show you guys all in this video what it's all about. And you can't get to me. This is so handy. I'm right here. I know where you are, pal. I know exactly where you are. All right, let's see what other extracts we got here. I want to use them all. Allows you to instantly close in on enemies and execute Flux Fisher with Circle. Can be done in rapid succession. Oh, I think this is the one we had at the start. Okay. That enhances attack and defense. It sharpens your perception, giving you the sense that time is moving slower. Okay, let's try this one first. No, no, no. Holy shit, okay, everybody stay calm. I'm right here. Okay, this dude's literally dancing. Like, what are you doing, Yag? Yag? Is, it, is he just gonna keep dancing? Like, can I not fight while he's doing this, man? Dumbest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Come on, we got this shit. We got him. No. We got him, boys. Come on. Do not drink a potion or some shit. I swear to God. Oh my God. I was so scared right there. I could have easily killed us, huh? Come on. Finish him off, Yag. Yes! Oh my God. We did it. Come on, baby! We were so low on health items and everything as well. <laughs> yes, dude. We got you, sucker. <laughs> Let's go, pussy. You're done, son. You're done. Time to face facts. We beat him first try as well, boys. Next Lovely Herlin. You'll be alone. Without the darkness to protect you. Bondo too. He'll abandon you to your fate. To hell with evil being necessary for order. You're rotten to sell for the rest of your miserable life. Come on, gonna kill him. Come is gonna kill him, isn't he? he was all that's left to do is clean this shit up god damn that was awesome in your kawaii huh yo you might want to stay away from that Pull it out any further, and it'll set off the bomb I planted. What? It could very well end up going off anyway. But that'll be up to me. He's getting out of here. Oh, what the fuck? I can't keep track of how many times this guy has changed sides. As long as Kawaii's body exists, Kusumoto's son will never be free. So I'll make sure it's never found again. You guys might want to consider stepping out. Kawana, you can't do it. But I can. This was always going to be the backup plan anyway. If you guys hadn't made it down here, I would have blown up both the body and Soma all in one shot. But still, if Soma dies, I'll never get to the one pulling the strings. And Kusumoto-san will never be free of these goddamn shackles. Kusumoto-san needs to turn herself in. If she keeps trying to hide from all this, she'll be haunted by her past wherever she goes. You'd rather she carry those sins for the rest of her life than all by herself. Because after today, 
you won't be there to help anymore. You have to leave. You'll disappear. He has Matsura now, though. You'll need to live deep in the shadows. If she turns herself in, she'd never be able to see Mitsuru again. Her son is finally awake, after 13 years in a coma. Does tearing them apart sound like justice to you? I want nothing more than for everyone involved to get a happy ending. But still, if I turn my back on it now, Sawa's sensei's sacrifice becomes a footnote. That won't work. She can't say her piece without a voice. So if I don't raise mine for her, what justice prevails? Fine. I'll just push the button. Everyone in here can be blown to hell. I don't know. I think this is stupid. You really gonna do that? If you guys don't back off, then I will. Do you know how many people I've killed through the years? No. But if you were really that kind of scum, we wouldn't have come down here. You wouldn't be the kind of person worth saving. <laughs> this one is my fight, guys. We're really gonna fight him? There's no way. The way I see this, Tuck, you and Kuana both have your reasons. Something to consider. But between the both of you, is there really a right answer? I feel like our arguments have just been the same thing throughout the whole game, like, I don't know, man. This part of the storyline is kind of whack to me, and now I have to fight Kawana as well, I'm gonna die here. No doubt about it, I'm gonna fucking get fucked up here. I literally have nothing to beat him with. I have this, I guess. I hope he escapes. I honestly do. I really want Kawana to, to escape and Kusumoto to go on. Like, I'm on his side. I honestly am. I hate to say it, but I'm on Kawana's side. Come on, then. Come on, man. Yes, Yag. I have no more hate healing on him, by the way, so this is really it. I have to do it now or never. It's now or never. I'm not gonna be able to do it, I don't think. So, we'll see. We're dead. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, guys. I really don't. I don't see how I can. Fuck's sake. Continue on easy difficulty? No. Oh, I just pressed yes by accident. I swear to God, I didn't even mean to press yes. I was so heated. I was like already just getting ready to press no. I thought I had to go up to press no. Whatever, I probably wasn't going to be. I got him down to, the, to his last bar, though. So I was actually thinking I could have done it if I had just fought a little bit smarter. But I think on easy, it's definitely going to be doable 100%. I don't think it'll be completely easy, but yeah, I think on easy, it won't be too difficult, at least. Oh! Is this the end? We get him? Triangle. Both gonna punch each other? No, we got him first. Oh. Let go! Let go! <laughs> nice one, Yanami. Oh no. We're not gonna kill him, are we? We did it. We did it. I don't know how to feel about this, man. I don't know how to feel about this.
put too much value on it. All it does is crush us. <laughs> That's not true. It's because the truth was being hidden. That's what led to Sawa Sensei's death, isn't it? Set Kusamoto free. It's time for all this to end. I mean, you've got to already know. When justice breaks, someone's always going to find a way to redefine it to suit themselves. And from that point of view, everything you do feels justified. That's why... That's why you're able to look past the sacrifice and the damage you cause. No. I didn't want this. I get that. But who decides what's wrong? Who gets to decide what's right? That's not us. Come on. Sawa Sensei died because you made the choice for her, and you took her truth. Who does that really serve? Tell me who. Why would you want that? The truth is all we have. When the law can't be fair, the truth becomes our last ray of hope. So please, Sawa Sensei's truth, don't take that from her. Mando. Reiko Kusumoto. Kusumoto san. Kitakata sensei. I couldn't protect you. I couldn't even protect your secret. <laughs> Please lift up your eyes. I saw that picture you posted of Kawhi's dead face. I took a hard look. This was the man I killed. I saw the pain in his propulsive face. I saw the consequences of my actions. Sawasa never should have been dragged into this. I saw how I betrayed and abandoned you too. Kusumoto-san. I've been frightened ever since. I was scared Mitsuru would find out the truth. I was worried he would discover his mother was a monster. <laughs> and for you as well, Sensei. You carried it for me. You clung to such a dark secret. I made you do this for so long. <laughs> I never should have gone through with it. And I won't let you bear the burden of my mistake anymore. <laughs> That's why I've decided. I'm going to turn myself in. <laughs> And I mean, I feel like this is a really obvious ending, though, is the thing. Like, you feel, it felt like she was always going to turn I herself in. I have some in. bad news for you, Mitsuru. Your mother won't be coming home for a while. Mm -mm. It's not work. But I feel I should warn you. I'm going to be placing a burden on your shoulders. I'm so sorry. Mitsuru? Please don't worry, Mom. If anything, I should be the one worrying about you. Huh? I could tell something was bothering you. You've been hiding a problem for a while, haven't you? I'm sure it's been hard. Especially considering what a burden I've been. No. That's not it at all. Don't worry, Mom. I more or less already know. In fact, let me tell you. 
I was doing physical therapy earlier, and I managed to take a few steps. For the first time in 13 years. <laughs> That's wonderful. It didn't feel like much, really. This sucked. But still, you know what the doctor said? That if I keep at it, I'll be able to stand on my own two feet. <laughs> And then I'll be able to walk again pretty soon. <laughs> when that time comes, I'll be there for you. It'll finally be my turn to support you. So please don't worry about me, Mom. Don't let me hold you back. Go do whatever it is you have to do. I'll be waiting. I'm sorry, Mitsuru. <laughs> Thank you. This outcome sucks, man. Not in like a story way, but it just sucks for her. It sucks for the child. Enter. I don't recall having an appointment with any prosecutors today. Are you familiar with Kazuki Soma of RK? Public security's inside man. He infiltrated the Kamurocho underworld on assignment. As you're aware, he got caught up in some illicit activity. You knew this, yet somehow his actions stayed off the record. Whatever you're talking about, I have no idea, son. Just so you know, Soma's been arrested by Kanagawa police. The investigation is ongoing. He's the prime suspect in the murder of Yokosawa in her Yokohama home. It's our suspicion that he was acting on the orders he received from you, and that would make you complicit in her death. You wanted to manipulate Reiko Kusumoto, and so you stooped to blackmail. Let me guess why you're here. You want to put all of this out in the open? If it means exposing the truth, certainly. <laughs> you want to burn down Japan? This is bigger than me. It could go all the way up the chain. People of power nationwide would be dragged into your scandal. And some of those people might even be the superiors cutting your paychecks. Yep. But the bureaucracy isn't the monolith you think it is. The more political power you wield, the more enemies you have waiting in the shadows for the opportune moment to strike. We've met with them, and we have their full cooperation on this. As a result, Soasan's security footage has been recovered. It had mysteriously gone missing when the investigation was opened. Upon further review, Kazuki Soma is clearly visible in it. Who would have the authority to order that evidence to be locked away? That would be you, Bando-san. For my part, I did the things I thought were necessary. I'm trying to maintain order. It's not hyperbole that I've saved us. My actions. So if you intend to drag me through the mud, I'll see you in court. So we will. That said, we got this far because those detectives persevered. So I wouldn't expect the prosecution to drop the ball now. You're in trouble, Bando. You're done, son. You're gonna have to disappear, man. Or else mm. you're going to jail. We only got this far because those detectives persevered. Huh. Oh, yeah? Wouldn't have expected that from Takano. Much less about Yagami. Yes. <laughs> Takano's awesome. But Mafuyu said she overheard it herself. He did really say it. In the meantime, Ehara-san has been charged for Mikoshiba's murder. And Reiko Kusamoto for Shinya Kawai's death, too. Both of them are fully cooperating with the investigation. Well, I suppose that ties everything up with a bow. Except for Kuana. Yes. Kuana's still missing. He's the last of the loose ends. Hmm. So he is. You think he's still out there? Would he risk his life to keep hunting down and killing bullies? Well, I have my doubts about that. Yagami-san believes he can turn over a new leaf. Hmm. Ah, some things never really change, do they? 
This place is still filthy. <laughs> Squeaky and clean isn't gonna work for everyone. Your place That's is a little better, all right? Taste. A little better. I'd say this place just has flavor. You brought some snacks? Yeah. We stopped at the convenience store around the corner on the way here. Come on, Talk. It ought to be you treating the boys. <laughs> Bring in some sushi to show them how generous you are. Oh, should I know? Well, I'm already way ahead of you. Yo! Did someone order some sushi? Only the best the main man. Guys, Courtesy of Yagami Detective Agency. So? <laughs> Good shit, man. You are a true gentleman. Huh? Hey, what the fuck? There's avocado on this shit. Where the hell did you get this from? Aniki, if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. In fact, that just leaves more for me. <laughs> These two are always bickering. And I can chew moon in salmon roll. Hey, save me the tamago. As long as I got my egg, I'm good. Who goes for the egg? Flashback to Sama. I'll leave Kawaii's body with you. The cops can have him. But then I'm out. I gotta disappear for a while. I'll fade back into the shadows. Like hell, man. If he's arrested, public security would have his head. They'd charge him with the one murder he didn't commit. Sawa sensei wouldn't get the justice she deserves. And worse, they'd find a way to silence him. Besides, you don't have any proof that I'm even guilty. Anything they could charge me for would never stick. Just what are you getting at? You said yourself that you spent the last several years taking out bullies all over the country. That's got to count for something. I never left a single shred of evidence behind. So good luck. The cops and the prosecution would have nothing to go on. In a legal sense, all you guys can really do is stand there and watch me walk out of here. <laughs> I'm glad the he's getting away at least. Very good about being flexible. The whole system am. is hollow. It can't judge who needs to be judged. It can't save who needs to be saved. I'll expose that. Every action I take serves that goal. As long as kids like Mitsuru continue to suffer out there, I'll do it for them. Even if it means I have to keep my hands dirty, I don't care. Goodbye. You're right about one thing. The law is hollow. As it stands now, the system does fail people. All the same. The law evolves. We have to make it better. But it takes time, and the work is never done. That's why. That's why as long as the law lets people fall through the cracks, I'm gonna be there. Except, I won't do it anything like you. Have a nice life, Kawana. We already know you're the one who snitched. You didn't think we'd find out. Come on, don't you have anything to say? Huh? You owe us an answer, don't you? I'm sorry. And there it is. <laughs> I knew you were lying all along. You are a lying piece of shit, huh? What do you have to say for yourself? You think your apologies are gonna cut it? You're in deep shit, girl, and that's not how this fucking works. So look over here real quick. Say, I'm a bitch and a liar for the camera. <laughs> Do it, or it's gonna get a lot worse. Wow, isn't this gross? What are they doing to that poor girl? Three against one? That's so freaking weak. Pretty fucked up to gang up on her like that. Who said that? Come on, move it. You don't have to. You've got no reason to go with these guys. What the hell? Mind your own business, assholes. Do you really think we're the ones being assholes? Yeah, that's pretty rude. 
You guys gotta learn when it's time to give it a rest. Who the hell are you guys? I love how there are literally mirrors of them. You need to leave. And stay away from that girl. Terrible kids. I'm so glad someone finally stood up for that young lady. I know. Aren't those Serio High students? Hey, let's just go. Come on. Are you okay? I'm sorry. No, don't be. I'm sorry. Really. I just wish I had seen what was happening earlier. You'll be fine. We've turned into protectors now instead of bullies. Well, not Coda. She was never a bully, but the others, I mean. Which is nice to see. Is that so the end of the game? News, oh, yeah. After an anonymous report, the Tokyo Metropolitan Police have announced the discovery of five murder victims. Found in areas across the country, all five victims have evidently been deceased for several years. According to the anonymous tip, the common thread between these victims is that they were all at one time accused of malicious school bullying. The police are working quickly to identify them, and an investigation task force is being launched immediately. This task force's first challenge will be to secure the cooperation of law enforcement across all of the prefectures involved. Man. Let's go Kawana. <laughs> Honestly, I was, I'm definitely on Kawana's side. 100%. There's the end of the game, boys. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. I can't skip these. Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to end the video, I think. Unless there's an after credit scene, we're going to let the credits play. But holy shit, what a game. What a game. About 25 hours of craziness. And I really enjoyed it. If you want to see me do some like um, stuff after the main game, I might not get it done in the near future. But like next week or something, maybe we could uh, do some side quests. Maybe get Yagami a girlfriend, something like that. We'll see what happens. Anyway... Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a pleasure. I, I really had a blast with this game. Uh, I would say not as good as the first game, in my opinion. Uh, the story, at least. They evolved the gameplay quite nicely, I feel like. And there's L Yagami's lawyer badge there on the uh, on the table. I think they evolved the gameplay quite nicely. I think um, I think there wasn't as many like dull side missions in the main story like there was in uh, in the first judgment. Um, like pointless stuff that didn't have to be in the main story, that is. And uh, the chase missions were not nearly as bad. The tail missions were not nearly as bad. There was only like two of them, and they weren't as bad as they were in the previous game. Look at look at uh, Kaito. <laughs> I love these five guys, man. Oh, that's awesome. All right. The cycle is broken, and my series is over. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. I hate games that don't let you skip the credits, but it is what it is. See you next time.